What's up guys? I missed uh, uh, Mail Time Tuesday yesterday, so we're doing it today instead. Um, didn't get any mail, regular mail today and the UPS also didn't come, but we did get two packages from FedEx. Uh, one is coming from um, Texas and another one is coming from Colorado. So we're gonna start with this Colorado package first. So the message on the form says, left it in the laptop and the part that goes into the computer broke off. So the connector is broken. I don't know what brand it is. It says something like Emation. Bottom line is this is the only part that we care about is on the inside. That's what we're gonna work with. Thank you for sending it in. This is from May 31st. This should not be a problem. As long as we don't have any other critical components damaged, we will get this going very quickly. The next package from Texas in this fancy envelope extremely urgent. I think I know who this was because I spoke with that person yesterday. So it's a SanDisk Ultra class 4 memory card. It could be either something very simple or something pretty complex. It all comes down to whether or not this unit will work on its own and the first thing we'll do because um, um, we may be dealing with a unit that just doesn't work because it doesn't line up with the card reader. I have a skeleton card reader that's got every pin uh, with individual wires so we're just going to do the soldering to the interface and power it on. If it works, this was the cause of the problem. If it doesn't work, that means these two rows below are going to require something that I've shot previously and I'm going to link uh, this solution that we provided in the description of this video. So this is my beloved skeleton uh, card reader. Universal takes pretty much every card there is. Uh, as you can see I stripped the um, casing and for individual contacts that come in, in uh, communication with the interface of the SD card I made a specific wire coming on this side so what I, what I usually do when I get cases that have broken enclosures like this I just taped tape this part right here and these wires just get soldered right into the interface and uh, if the problem was related to the casing this should take care of it one thing I do want to check, and that's continuity between the VCC and VSS pads. Because if they are shorted, there is really no point in soldering this, because the controller is, is uh, shorted out. No, there is no short between them. We can go ahead and try to get this done. Soldering iron. That's good to go. I want to find my double-sided tape as well. This is just so that our card is held in place. So since the card would be sliding in like this, we have to mirror it over. And position it right there.
and that's it. That's all we really had to do. And uh, now we just need to plug in the USB cable and see if it works. You see this little tab? I completely forgot about that little tab right there. I don't know if you guys are going to catch it. If I release it, this tab go, pulls away from the ground so the unit isn't grounded. When we push it in, this makes contact with the ground so it is now grounded. And now the blue LED, as you can see, begins to flash. This automatically gives us a message of autoplay, Nikon. 8, 10, which is awesome. I'm just going to click on a random image. You guys can see it works. So I'm going to save it all. So 2.59 gigabytes of data. That's case number one. Now, without shutting the camera off, without turning off anything, we're going to go ahead and do the second case. this case here since it's a quick connector repair we'll get it done really fast just gonna put a screen capture on all right so what we got here is a Fison controller, worst comes to worst, 2251675 is a very common controller, and the memory is probably made by Toshiba or something like that. Not that it matters at this point. Here are the four pads that we worry about. Okay, so we got a ground, these two go into tiny via holes right here. And this one goes nowhere but to this resistor on this end. So we can either jump wire to what, whatever is remaining here. Or we can just jump a wire directly to this resistor point. You just got to make sure that it doesn't connect to anything else. And it doesn't look like it is. It just... positive it's gonna work and 1% that it won't so let's find out flashing red light is always a good thing because uh, we just got a message from a bit locker saying that uh, enter the password so the drive came up ready I don't know the password clan didn't provide it but you guys are able to see that on the screen right there that uh, as soon as the unit came up ready it started asking for this password so we can either send it back to them in a repaired form like this by putting tons of hot glue or something to fix it together or we can just ask them for the BitLocker password and decrypt the unit up here before the transfer happens that's uh, it for mail time um, what is it Wednesday today and I'm going home 
I've done a lot of work today and I'm really happy with the results. Stay tuned for more episodes and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.